Alright, so the one we're doing right now has to do with creating a confidence interval for the slope. Uh, disregard what I told you earlier about the square root at the bottom. Alright, so confidence interval for the slope. We've done confidence interval before, and if we go back to this paper, which you get on the uh, AP test, right? Your confidence interval would be your statistic, whatever we're looking for, right? Your critical value, and your standard deviation of statistic. All right, easy peasy. So we just gotta know what these things are. And where do we get them from the output? So it's gonna be your statistic, watch out for that, it comes after you. Statistic, plus or minus critical value, times your uh, error. All right, very good. Your statistic for this is your slope. So if we're doing a confidence interval for the slope, we gotta know where to take it. We have another one that we've done, we showed you where everything is, but slope would be the one that's named or called variable. Your estimate would go here, 0.583. Your critical value is gonna be a T value. You gotta look up at whatever the uh, critical value is, whatever uh, alpha is, 95%, 99%. And it's going to be at n minus 2, which is different from what we had before, because before, remember, we did n minus 1. So when we're doing slope, we're changing to n minus 2 on the lookup. So that's a difference. The another difference is our standard error is already calculated for us, and it's already divided by the square root. So when you're looking up answers for this one, you're just going to take the standard error right from here. You're not going to have to divide by the square root. It's going to be just picking three pieces, this one from here, you're going to have to look this one up, and this one from here, and that's going to be it. So they ask this question maybe once every, uh, every year.